SCP Foundation Secure Facility Dossier Official Designation SCP Foundation Southern Europe Mass Containment Facility Site Identification Code EUITLA Site 77 General Information Founded July 25, 1943 Founding Director Dr. Shirley Gillespie Location Province of L'Aquila, Southern Italy, European Union Cover Story South Carter Mining and Parts Trade Company Site Function Mass Containment Research Task Force Deployment Administrative Size Surface Area of 5.69 km2 Partial List of Anomalies Contained Under the Jurisdiction of Site-77 SCP-031 SCP-039 SCP-213 SCP-474 SCP-512 SCP-565 SCP-649 SCP-643 SCP-703 SCP-720 SCP-761 SCP-864 SCP-992 SCP-1070 SCP-1277 SCP-1317 SCP-1452 SCP-1498 SCP-1501 SCP-1507 SCP-1508 SCP-1513 SCP-1528 SCP-1559 SCP-1572 SCP-1630 SCP-1636 SCP-1651 SCP-1723 SCP-1724 SCP-1738 SCP-1747 SCP-1796 SCP-1833 SCP-1837 SCP-1872 SCP-1894 SCP-1938 SCP-1957 SCP-1996 SCP-2082 SCP-2199 SCP-2322 SCP-2507 SCP-2600 SCP-2687 SCP-2799 SCP-2805 SCP-2969 SCP-2991 Facilities and Wings Living Facilities Each person on the site has their own room, containing a bed, a desk, a bedside table, cabinets, and a poster reading, Mankind must not go back to living in fear. Office Facilities The site contains a large number of offices, spread out generally throughout the site. The largest cluster of these is near to the main entrance hall of the site. The offices tend to be relatively plain, though some personnel do put their own personal spin on things. The equipment offices among these, consisting of a large, warehouse-like rooms at the bottom of a very long set of stairs. Common rooms There are many common rooms split among the site's departments, equipped with several sofas and armchairs, arranged around an entertainment center. Agents are encouraged to spend as much time in the commons as they wish, although sleeping is discouraged. Grand Mess Hall The only mess hall on site. The Grand Mess Hall provides for all staff. A large room with rows of tables and stools. The food it provides is free, inoffensive, and filling. Options for all dietary preferences are provided for. Medical Wing Surgical and recuperative facilities. Nurses and doctors who are considerably more interested in your health than your happiness. Rumored to have been augmented through the Director's private research. Security Facilities Site-77 and the surrounding grounds are patrolled by agents from Mobile Task Force Psi-7. The site is littered with checkpoints and defensive infrastructure, both inside and outside the base. Gym The gym is large and well outfitted, with various weights, bags, and machines for the cultivation of a healthy state of being. The most notable feature is the full-size boxing ring where agents can punch and kick each other to their heart's content. People tend to stick humorous notes on the punching bags, representing things they'd very much like to hit. Range An indoor shooting range, although only inert projectiles are permitted to be used. There is a wide selection of such weapons available for use, along with the appropriate safety equipment. 
There are facilities allowing weapons to be shot by those who would not be permitted to take a weapon with them around the site. Observatory A telescope placed in a small observation chamber at the top of Site-77, used for observation of potential astronomical-based anomalies. Laboratories and Research Wing The site's laboratories are centralized, primarily in the southern wing of the underground portion of the site, directly attached to the computer science and metal construction wings. The research portion of Site-77 is particularly known for their innovations in info-hazard research. Computer Science Wing Modern supercomputers sit back-to-back -back with a bunch of reel-to-reel, -reel, lie-in-the-walls univac-type computers. Enigmographs, machines capable of making documents illegible to anyone other than the intended recipient, can be found here, as well as a number of powerful non-anomalous computers and powerful computer accessories. Computer labs for officials and personnel usage can be found here, as well as those used for advanced calculations and legacy projects. Computers compatible with almost every standard imaginable can be found here. Metal Shop and Construction Where the vehicle pool gets their automobiles repaired, as well as any other mechanical issue the site might be having, has the tools you'd expect from a place that builds cars, computers, walls, anything else the Foundation might need. Also houses a garage from the motor pool. Church The site has a large, non-denominational church built into the side of the mountain with an entrance from both the underground portion of the site and from outside. It is a relatively simple affair, with no real extravagance to it. There are, on staff, Jewish, Protestant, and Catholic chaplains. The rabbi gets the chapel on the Saturdays, while Sunday evening is split between the minister and the priest. The rest of the time they alternate their sermons and sacraments. The church is deceptively holy, although it is a modern construction. It has been sanctified by several high-ranking priests particularly from the nearby Vatican. Time will tell if this will have any noticeable effect. Barracks Site-77 serves as the primary headquarters of Mobile Task Force Psi-7, Home Improvement. In addition, members of Psi-7 serve as Site-77's primary security force, with internal security being overseen by Security Director Anderson. Containment Wing Section of Site-77 primarily used for containment of safe and Euclid-level anomalies. Primarily underground, these facilities have been reinforced to protect from earthquakes and have some of the Foundation's most up-to-date anomalous countermeasures. Containment Vaults Located beneath the facility, lockers and chambers with low-level anomalous objects and records. Mass storage of marginally anomalous objects primarily takes place within Site-77, and they have the highest number of E-Class objects of any Foundation facility. Director's Complex the Director's Complex is large. You are not allowed in it. These are the only facts you need to know. Staffing Information Site Director Dr. Shirley Gillespie Deputy Site Director Dr. Ralph Rodgett Assistant Director of Personnel Wade Quincy Assistant Director of Facilities John Skelton Assistant Director of Research Dr. Peter Gerthardt Assistant Director of Containment Dr. Jamie Regal Assistant Director of Medicine Calais Amity Vale Assistant Director of Security Theodore Anderson Assistant Director of Human Resources Mary Guild On-Site Psychologist Dr. Roth On-Site Personnel Department Heads 9 Staff Doctors 180 Staff Researchers 1094 Administrative Personnel 390 Maintenance or Janitorial 888 Security Personnel 2,220 D-Class 22 Other Personnel 11 Notable Containment Incidents SCP-1591 Prior to Site-77's establishment at the Foundation facility, Allied forces had taken control of the surface buildings to use as a base. An airstrike by Axis forces severely damaged many buildings, including one containing SCP-1591 which was being studied by Allied scientists. This massively magnified the intensity of SCP-1591's effect. The remainder of the surface facilities were destroyed, and approximately 40 Foundation personnel were lost. In addition, all surviving agents and researchers were trapped in the underground portions of the facility and unable to return to the surface. After alerting O5 Command to the situation, 
local gendarmes were enlisted to prevent individuals from reaching the breach-affected zone. Floodlights were shipped by rail from air bases in the region, and containment was restored. SCP-703 SCP-643 unexpectedly manifests within SCP-703 while the former is being transferred to a more secure containment chamber. Several attending researchers and agents are affected, however, proper olfactory protocols were observed by Site-77 security and ensured minimal losses during this breach. SCP-703 reclassified to Euclid. SCP-039 During a regular security patrol, several instances of SCP-039 were noted to be moving through containment unsupervised. Further investigation showed that SCP-039 had used tools obtained from within the walls to disable and remove the security door to its containment chamber. During re-containment operations, a mercenary militia began assaulting the containment wing of Site-77. During the defensive operations, SCP-039 continued roaming unsupervised and is known to have breached at least one SCP object, SCP-1957 which resulted in the creation of SCP-1837 after SCP-1957 came into contact with E-4250, an unknown anomaly possessed by the group. SCP-512 During outdoor testing of SCP-512, D-512-33 was able to enact controlled flight and escape by flying over the walls. Mobile Task Force Psi-7 deployed several helicopters to pursue them. Before being recaptured, D-512-33 was struck by a bolt of lightning and perished. After recovery, all outdoor testing at Site-77 was discontinued. SCP-213 While sleeping, the destructive aspect of the SCP-213 anomaly manifested uncontrollably for approximately 30 seconds, causing the subject to fall through multiple sub-basements before being recovered. No casualties due to the breach although the cost of damages amounted to 1.2 million euros. Analysis of this incident spurred the research which led to the source SCP-213 anomaly being discovered and the current containment procedures being enacted. SCP-2322 An unknown door was noted to appear overnight within the director's complex. When investigated, its anomalous properties were revealed. Renovations and alterations to the complex have been made to ensure the secure containment of SCP-2322. Believed to be connected to E-8812, a humanoid anomaly with reality-bending abilities related to electronic and radio waves. Additional information The earliest archaeological records of Site-77 indicate that it was a religious or cultural gathering point for rural villages in southern Italy. Its specific purpose is not known, as any primary sources have been lost or destroyed over time. Relics and artifacts from this time period have been rare, and those discovered not particularly fruitful. For many years, during the 18th and 19th centuries, the facilities that would one day evolve into Site-77 were primarily used for mining coal. Once that ran dry, it was abandoned and became severely run down. When the fascist regime came to power in the 1920s, the ruins of the facility were seized by the government and put to use as part of the rearmament campaign producing military-grade firearms and equipment. In 1942, the facilities that would become Site-77 were requested for usage by the Germans of the research base, stationing reserve troops. The military presence there was one of the largest in the region. In addition, large quantities of munitions and weapons were stored there. During this time, Italian and German scientists were using the area for geological research as well as a small contingent of Nazi Party representatives studying occultism. These researchers operated with only tepid support from their governments and begrudging tolerance of the soldiers stationed there. Top secret Wunderwaffe research began in late 1943, but ceased once the Italian government had surrendered. Once it fell into their hands, the Allies took little effort to fortify or reinforce the large base, but did use portions of it as a hospital as they continued to press towards the north. Large portions of the surface were destroyed by SCP-1591 after Axis bombing reduced its containment facilities to rubble. In 1945, with the war nearly over, the facility was repurposed as a railway depot to be used by American business interests. 
It was operated by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development to ship Marshall Plan supplies into Europe. In the waning days of the project, one of their agents, Shirley Gillespie, made the Foundation a deal. She'd funnel them large sums of money in exchange for protection from American agents and a senior position. The Foundation was therefore able to refit their new facility with the newest technology and enhancements. Due to the large concentration of anomalous objects at this location, Site-77 has experienced an above-average number of containment breaches. However, the number of major containment incidents is on par with other Foundation facilities. Site-77 is the highest volume containment site currently held by the Foundation. Its current mission is holding anomalous phenomenon, researching its effects and maintaining normalcy security in the region.